Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is another weekly vlog. It is currently Wednesday, December 14th. It's almost lunchtime. Um, I took an early lunch break and went to Target because I had a few returns. So I got like a $30 gift card back in returns. And then I want to show you guys what I got. I'm going to not show a few things because I did pick up some presents, mainly stocking stuffers, um, but I'll show you the other stuff. So most exciting, I mean, not really exciting, but I got some chips. <laughs> Sorry if you can hear Kai eating in the background. He's eating his leftover breakfast. Um, but I've been trying these, the Siete brand for a while now um, and I absolutely love their chips. So I picked up some sea salt. I've already tried these. Lime, this is new. And these are like $5 a bag, so they're a little expensive, but they're great um, as far as the nutrition facts go. So they're a lot better than regular chips. That's how I justify it. Um, and then I got these churro ones to try, which I, I've tried them like a year ago, I think. And I think they were good, so I'm gonna try them again. I did get my hands on the favorite day whipped cream. I'm so excited to try these. So they have, these went viral on TikTok, by the way. They have the peppermint one, um, and then they have marshmallow. And these don't expire until June of next year. So if I don't finish them, I will be fine. So that's this, let me put them in the fridge already though. Ice cream, oops, let me put this away. Um, I picked up the favorite day. These are like the healthier cookie doughs, 370 calories per pint mocha cold brew coffee and cookie dough and they are like 20 grams of protein in this whole pint so i think that's really good and ryan and i have been trying to be a little healthier with what we eat so that's those some tortillas and then this is stuff for kai for his stocking don't tell him kai's my dog by the way um so there's this i don't want to say what they are there's this and there's this, it's like Oreos, so cute. So I'm gonna put these in a bag and hide them. Um, I did get my hands on the Native Mini deodorants. I'm not gonna say who these are for, but I got myself one. I have to decide which one I want, but they had candy cane, sugar cookie, and the hot buttered rum. But I was like, I don't want my armpits to smell like rum. Eggnog, that's what it was, eggnog. I don't want my armpits to smell like eggnog. I got some Bailey's chocolates, some collagen peptides, and then boring, but I just got some tape to wrap some more gifts, and some raspberries. And then I just restocked this on some mouthwash. This was 250 for this huge thing, and the actual Crest, Bar Crest brand one was like, 850, so that was really good. Um, I picked up the Ordinary Moisturizing Factors Plus AHA. I just really wanted to try it and I'm in need of a new moisturizer. And I also picked up the caffeine solution that you're supposed to use under your eyes. So I'm excited to try that. I restocked Ryan on some aftershave and some hair cream from Harry's. And then these I'm not gonna show because this will give it away. But I did get a $10 gift card, so I'll probably give that to somebody as a gift, just cause. Okay, and that's everything, and I got some LaCroix, but that really doesn't matter. <laughs> that's everything I got from Target. I just wanted to share with you guys. I didn't really have a mission. I just knew I wanted to pick up, I needed to pick up some food, grocery items, but I also wanted to pick up like some gifts for people. So that was a really good Target trip, and I got a lot of like cash back too, I think, because of Target Circle. So I got a reusable bag discount of five cents. Well, that's everything for now. I'm gonna put this all away and get back to work, and I will talk to you guys later. I forgot about one thing. So Kai loves lamb chop. He has two of them right now. I think he actually tore up one. We still have the witch from Halloween. And so I got him a reindeer one and this will be in his stocking. She's so cute. And she still squeaks, but I'm not gonna squeak because he's right there. <laughs> okay, now I'll see you guys later. Definitely got, I feel like I prefer to buy the kids <laughs> than adults. So like any kids that we know, I've got all
Hello guys, it is currently Thursday, December 15th. Um, I only know that because I just recorded my voiceover for my vlog on TikTok and I accidentally called it the wrong day. So anyways, I'm about to go on a walk with Kai and then we're gonna do a leg workout, but it actually did get cold here overnight last night. So it's like 60s and it was like 45 this morning really nice i'm loving this weather and it's going to be like this i think until christmas so very excited about that i'll finally get to wear a sweater maybe for christmas instead of short sleeves like i usually do so that will be nice but i wanted to show you real quick my makeup today because i think i did something really cute with the kylie palette so i'm going to turn the camera around so i can give you like a better quality view so first off this is the dear santa love kylie jenner palette from i believe from 2020 and here we go. I have to like hold it up so you can actually see the colors, but I used a hint of naughty, a hint of naughty in the crease. I used Dearest, this dark plum in like the outer corner. And then I used this beautiful like purple shimmer called Xmas Crush in um, on my lid to give it like some shimmer. So this is so weird because I never hold the phone like this, but I hope you can see, I hope it'll focus but I have like this really pretty shimmer to the middle of my lid. And then I kind of left this front part bare and just put like a cream shadow on. So I hope you can see that and it doesn't look like super weird, but I think this looks so much better. It's just very awkward to hold my phone like this, but I'll go ahead and end it right here because I'm just gonna go on a walk and work out and maybe hit up the mini sale today because I like totally forgot about it. I was really busy with work today and I totally forgot about the mini sale. I was gonna go this morning, I was gonna go, and then I was gonna go at lunch, and then I was gonna go after my meetings, and then I just totally forgot. So maybe I'll go like before dinner. Tomorrow, we're going to the Harry Potter Yule Ball. It's not till 9 p.m., it's very late, um, but that's okay. So that's tomorrow night, and I'm really excited. I need to try on my dresses and see if they still fit because that would be a shame. Um, but yeah, that'll be really exciting to show you guys. But for now, I'm gonna go on my walk and crush a leg day workout, and I'll see you guys later. Hello, you guys. It is now 5.50, and I'm headed to Bath & Body Works minis, the mini sale day. The mini sale? I don't know. Um, I decided to not do leg day because I really wanted to go shop. So we're gonna take a rest day today, and then I will work out tomorrow. Um, probably in the morning. I'll wake up early, so yeah. Let's head over to Bad and Works. Hello guys, this is Future Victoria adding in this voiceover to talk you guys through the Harry Potter Yule Ball. So this was a Friday night and we went at the 9 p.m. showing. This was actually the last day that they were doing it in Houston. I don't know if they're doing it in other cities, but this was the inside of the building. It was absolutely gorgeous. This was like an event hall. They turned into this beautiful Christmas landscape. They had the Goblet of Fire. They had so many amazing things. And they had a staff that was like basically trained and they were like actors playing out these Harry Potter characters. So I had Ryan film some of this footage for me because I was filming um, the other way for TikTok. So thank you, Ryan, for being the filmographer today. Um, but they had themed cocktails. All of them were good. Ryan tried every single one of them. And we did not try the butterbeer, but I'm sure it was delicious. They had things you could buy. You could purchase wands and robes and stockings and other little Christmas gifts. It was so beautifully decorated. And everybody who showed up, showed up in like the best 
gowns and suits and it was amazing they did this beautiful dance for us um, at the very beginning of the show basically to kick it off it was like a welcome dance and that supposedly this is like choreography from the movies so if you guys recognize it totally let me know um but afterwards we kind of got to go around and just explore for a little bit take some photos and then i'm going to show you guys some of the really fun stuff that we got to do So as you saw there, we got to learn our house dances and then we had a fashion show and my friend and I, who I just so happened to meet there, we both did not know that we were going. So that was the best surprise ever. I hadn't seen her in so long. And so we both participated in the fashion show. You walked up on the balcony and then you walked each other down the stairs and it was so much fun. And then afterwards we had a massive dance party. They played like BTS, they played Lizzo. Like it was so awesome. I didn't know wizards got down like that. And then to end the night, they did some spell casting and made it snow. It was so magical and just a wonderful experience. Totally recommend if they are doing it anywhere near you to make the trip to go. Hello guys, it is currently Tuesday night. It is like eight o'clock, it's the 20th. And I'm coming on to close the vlog because I realized that I like didn't <laughs> vlog at all this weekend after the Yule Ball. So you just saw like the amazingness that was the Yule Ball. You guys, I felt like I was in Universal Studios. That was such a magical experience. I thought it was a 10 out of 10 amazing experience i think it was better that we went at night because it was after we had already ate so we had a couple cocktails and we played along with like the fun banter of the actors and danced a little bit and really just enjoyed ourselves so th i thought that was really fun and then on saturday we kind of had more of a chill day one of ryan's friends came over and we ordered mexican food for lunch we uh, played some games on the switch and um then we actually went and saw Avatar that night. So Saturday night we saw Avatar. And let me know what you guys think of Avatar. I thought it was really good. Don't get me wrong, it was really good. But I don't know if it was worth the 10 year wait. But it could have just been maybe the movie theater I saw it at wasn't like IMAX. It wasn't like the best it could be. Maybe if I saw it in 3D it would have been better. But I thought it was still really good. So I'm not gonna spoil anything, but that is my thoughts on Avatar. Um, and then Sunday we had the laziest day ever, didn't do much of anything. Um, we went and bought Christmas presents and wrapped them and that was about it. Um, so that was our weekend in a nutshell. And then of course this week slash weekend is Christmas. So um, I do work all week. I'm off Friday and I'm off Monday and Ryan took off half of this week. So he's off Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Monday. So he gets a really nice long break from work. Um, and right now, um, typically at my job, we used to like not do anything around the holidays, but I'm doing a new job now, as you guys know, and we are working very hard right now. So that's going to be fun having him home and me still having to work really hard, but it's okay. Um, so yeah, that's our week in a nutshell, um, basically doing 
Christmas activities this week. So I will definitely remember to vlog more for you guys this week for Christmas and let you guys in on everything that we're doing. But yeah, that is everything for this vlog. I have Kai down here with me because I just took him out to go potty and it's freezing here. One other update I have for you guys, it's going to be really, really cold this week. We never get down to like 30s or below in, um, in Houston at least, this part of Texas. Um, so it's going to be freezing and it's probably going to be like 30s for Christmas. So for once in my entire life, I will get to wear a sweater on Christmas. I'm, I kid you not, I can probably insert photos of me from like the past five Christmases wearing short sleeves because it was already like 70 or 80 degrees Christmas day. So very exciting that I get to wear a sweater. I might have to go get a new one because I don't know if I actually have like an actual Christmas sweater to wear. We'll see. I don't know. I don't really have time to be going shopping, nor do I want to like go out with all these crazy crowds. So I probably will just stick with what I have. But anyways, that's everything for this week's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did like comment and subscribe down below and I will see you all in my next video. Okay. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Bye guys.